Hey y'all, it's Cherith. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thanks so much for pressing play on this video. If you are returning, welcome back. I love talking about all things self-care, parenting teens, and fitness over 40. But today I want to talk about forgiveness. And I'm not talking about forgiving someone else. I'm talking about forgiving yourself. How many times have you done something so terrible and you have a difficult time getting over it? Well, today I'm going to teach you how to move on after you've messed up. So make sure to st uh, stay tuned. Have you ever caught yourself giving yourself extra grief about something that you did that you just can't seem to get over? Well, we're going to talk about how you can move on after you've messed up. The very first thing that you can do is journal. I talk about journaling all the time as a form of self-care because it is so effective. It is so nice to be able to just get your feelings from your head and your heart onto that piece of paper. It's just something about it that is so freeing and will really help you to think through a situation. So if you've made a big mistake, the first thing I want you to do is grab your journal and start writing about it. The second thing I want you to do is anytime those thoughts of condemnation come into your head, I want you to replace those thoughts with something positive. You are not the mistake that you made. You're so much better than that. We all make mistakes and we just have to remind ourselves that even though we did something wrong, we are able to recover from it and we are able to bounce back. So when those negative thoughts come into your head, I want you to, the, to erase them and replace them with positive thoughts. The third thing that I want you to do is think about any positives that may have come from that mistake. If it is nothing else but that you learn how to not do something, that's something positive. You grow when you make a mistake. So I want you to think about when you've made that mistake or when you make that mistake and you keep reflecting on it, I want you to think about the good that could possibly have come from that. Maybe you made that mistake soon enough so that you're not hurting a whole bunch of people or whatever the case may be, but you just want to make sure to think about the positive situations or the positive outcomes that came from that mistake. Number four, I want you to practice compassion. Give yourself compassion. You know, a lot of times we're still thinking about that thing that we did wrong and everyone else, the people that we wronged or the mistake, you know, whoever we made the mistake against, they're not even thinking about it anymore. So I want you to practice some compassion. You know, we forgive other people when they do things wrong and you're the same. When you do something wrong, you apologize for it, you learn from it, and then you go ahead and forgive yourself from it. Show, uh, show yourself some compassion and move on. Number five, I want you to role play. Think about, and you can do this yourself, think about what you would do in that situation if you were someone else. What if someone else made that mistake? How would you act? Nine times out of 10, you're nicer to other people for making mistakes than you are to yourself for making that same mistake. So do some role playing and just think about what you would say or do to that person who did the same thing that you did. Number six, write yourself a letter of forgiveness. Hey, I'm a teacher, so I'm always talking about journaling or writing. So that's one thing that you can do. Go ahead and write out a full length letter to yourself, forgiving yourself for the actions that you, that you did that were wrong. It is so helpful to be able to get, again, those things from your head onto the paper. So write yourself a, a letter and, you know, forgive yourself for what you've done wrong. Number seven, think about how you've become a better person since you made that mistake. Like I talked about earlier, if nothing else, you know what not to do when you're in a similar situation. So think of that as a way to grow and I want you to grow from that mistake. Think about all the different ways that you have become a better person because of that mistake. Number eight, I want you to quote some self-forgiveness affirmations. You are worthy of forgiveness. So say to yourself, I am worthy to be forgiven. I release my past so I can face my future. I accept that I did the best I could do at that time. Those are just some examples of some affirmations that you can use to help you get past your mistake. Self-forgiveness is very difficult. We want to be good people. We are good people and we don't want to mess up, but we're human. So we will mess up from time to time. I don't want you spending too much time dwelling on that mistake because again, you're not your mistake. You are so much bigger than that any one moment in life. You shouldn't hold on to the guilt from a mistake. Don't let anyone else hold it over your head and don't you hold it over your head. I'm going to drop a link below to a blog post that I wrote about self-forgiveness techniques. In that blog post, I go into great detail about these specific techniques and then I also give some other tips and strategies that you can use to move on when you've messed up. You deserve to be forgiven and you can forgive yourself. I want you to take that mistake, Learn from it and go on to be the best you that you can possibly be. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.